everybody. Happy Saturday night. As I've told you, my Saturday nights are wild and crazy. Now I'm sitting here at 11 o'clock at night looking at your work because I'm that wild and crazy. But I had a couple of emails and some questions about maybe how to attempt the question that I put forward to you a couple weeks ago of does or does not Warren misuse Schneider in her Lecture 7 series, or does she use Schneider perfectly well? Uh, you really do have the choice uh, and how that works. All I ask for is evidence. Now, the feedback I'm getting is that people don't necessarily understand what it is I'm asking. And I don't think it's that you don't understand what I'm asking. I think maybe it's that you don't understand how to start. And so I'm going to give you an example of how you can start looking at material in order to answer those tough questions. Does one use the other correctly or do they misuse it out of context to fit their own needs? Because believe it or not, almost anything you read in newspapers or spoken by politicians or seen on the news has spin. And so it's just a, it's just as easy to take place in the academic world to spin material to your own needs. So what your job is is to be able to see through the spin. This is how you start looking. This is how you start thinking about it. First, you can see right now that I'm looking at the War and Peace, the Lecture 7 Macbeth. Wonderful that this was available to us to look at. There's a lot of really great information there. Now, you've already read the piece, and I just read it again as a refresher before I started. So a suggestion would be that go ahead and read the entire piece again. But then look through it again, highlighting the material that specifically interacts with what Schneider said. Now you can do this two different ways. Me, since I live on a screen and I kind of like it that way, uh, I do it this way. I go through and I read the piece. And when I get to a piece that invokes Schneider, uh, I know that that's an area that I'm going to want to pay attention to. This is the first piece we're going to take a look at right now. Um, when it says Shakespeare also uses nature to highlight the evil of Macbeth's actions, as Susan Snyder details the wind, the wild winds, and earthquake, Duncan's horses devouring each other, like Macbeth killing his king and cousin, the falcon king by the owl. Now this whole piece is talking about what Schneider says and introducing what Schneider is saying. Uh, for me, what I do is I usually take a screenshot of it. Uh, if it's a PDF like this and a file I can't highlight live, I'll take a screenshot of it. Now, if you're on a Mac, that's really easy. Uh, you hold Command, Shift, you push the number four, and you get this little crosshairs right there. It tells you where I am on the page by basically those coordinates that you can see as they change, as the coordinates they are on the screen. So you hold your click and you highlight the area you want to take a picture of. Now, what I do is I collect those pictures popped up right down on the screen. Uh, you can't see it, but uh, I collect those pictures and I put them together on the page. And we can see that he uses nature to highlight. And then before that, we see in the piece that it said it is true that a writer as experienced as Shakespeare would have been aware of the political implications. And we can see that um, Schneider uh, may be invoked in this area as well, right here. The portrait of a man's moral decline after committing a heinous act. Now, on this page, I've collected everywhere that Warren invokes Schneider. Uh, now, let's say that you don't want to live in this world, this digital world, and you have a printout of the lecture, which is totally acceptable. What you can do is use an overused and used often the wrong way tool called a highlighter. And you can highlight the text that specifies Schneider, invoke Schneider, just the way I took pictures of it and moved it to one piece where I could take a look at it. 
And now I'm going to show you what to do All next. Right, so now I have opened up the Schneider piece, which is the piece we are going to discuss. You've taken the mentions of the Schneider piece out of the Warren piece, and now we're going to look at the Schneider piece, step two of, of how you work through a problem like this. Now, you have access to my copy of the Schneider piece, which you cannot edit, you can only view. So the best thing to do at this point would be to go to File, right here, and click on Make a Copy. Now, you can just leave it as Copy of Susan Schneider, A Modern Perspective, and hit OK. Now, this that pops up is going to be your copy of the Schneider piece. And your copy of the Schneider piece, you can then edit. And so what you want to do is that Warren was talking about. So you either have the highlighted copy of Warren's piece that you did with the highlighter, or you have the material that we took pictures of over here. Um, the problem with showing you how to do it right now is if I actually go to those pieces and show you the context, the answer will be laid out for you, which is opposite of what I want you to do here. I want you to find it. So you need to go back to your copy of the Schneider piece and you need to read it and you need to look for the context that Warren is talking about. So for instance, here's the, the piece about the weird sisters preventing nouns rather than verbs and you'll be able to go back and see where they discuss the idea of um, the witches contributing to the horror of the play and uh, here we have the weird sisters present nouns rather than verbs uh, so we have that direct quote and it's a good one to kind of show you at the moment because um, it won't give too much of the answer away. You highlight it just like I've done here and then what you do is you go to your text you go to the highlight of your text and that's all you do, you highlight it. So you go through and you find the instances and digitally you're doing what you'd be doing here. Now you're not just highlighting everything you think is important Highlighting is grossly overused, which you can see in the link here, and, and I've presented it before. Uh, it's terribly overused and used often incorrectly by young students and by people who have been taught how to do it incorrectly. So you're specifically looking for the areas in the Schneider piece that Warren invokes, and you're going to highlight it, and then go back and look at it in context, which means with everything that's surrounding it, all of the information here, all the information here, the information of the piece as a whole, and that will help you decide whether or not Warren is using Schneider's quotes as Schneider intended or not as Schneider intended. Now, remember, I'm lying to you probably 60% of the time, so when I tell you I think that they're misusing it or I think that they're not misusing it. You can't just take me for my word. You have to look at the evidence. You have to look at the pieces. You have to make a decision and you have to support it with evidence you find from the text. Think for yourself. Goodbye.